This is the pastoral land of West Fort Bend County. It's quiet here, more cows than people. The nearest town, Simonton, doesn't even have a stoplight. Further west, the Brazos River snakes its way towards the Gulf. If you follow the FM 1093 bridge across the river and look downstream, you'll see another bridge, a narrow, rusty, old railroad bridge in various states of disrepair and decay. And there, a no trespassing sign with an unexpected logo, the Houston Metropolitan Transit Authority. Why would Metro buy a bridge nearly 45 miles from central Houston? Let's start at the beginning. This bridge was built in the late 1800s as part of the San Antonio and Aransas Pass Railroad. The railroad carried freight and passengers across a network of lines spanning from Houston to the Mexican border. This stretch of track ran through what was then a highly productive sugarcane empire, where plantations used slaves and then later prisoners for harvest. It was on this track that W.T. Eldridge, the Eldridge of Eldridge Drive, shot and killed William Dunavant over a long-held business rivalry. A few years later, the sugar industry collapsed, and the line, then owned by Southern Pacific, fell into disuse. Alongside the rail bridge, there was also an older 1093 bridge, accessed by a dip and bend in the road passing under the rails. The old 1093 bridge, narrower and precariously lower, was washed out by a log jam. Only the approach and piers remain today. It had been essentially abandoned for many years when Metro conceived buying the right-of-way. The bridge was part of a package deal. Metro in 1992 bought 58 miles of railroad right-of-way from Southern Pacific with the intent to build commuter rail. This stretch spanned from central Houston all the way to Wallace. The rail project, though, faced opposition. An anti-rail city government and suburban developers' desire for toll roads met with a consolation. Leave enough room for the city's maybe one day rail dreams while selling much of the width to Harrison Fort Bid County Toll Road Authorities. And thus, the West Park Tollway was created. Further towards Houston, the once rural right of way looks very different. Fort Bend County is currently extending their portion of the toll road to Fulshire. For now, it looks like the bridge is safe. Widening of 1093 and extension of the West Park stops miles short of the Brazos, and for reasons you can probably imagine, there is no need for a multi-lane freeway here. But the widening of 1093 and extension of the West Park has tended to be a take-no-prisoners endeavor. East of Fulcher, smaller old rail bridges are being demolished already, and the railroad is becoming more distant memory than present relic. As Houston sprawls further and further west, without intervention, Likely this bridge too will one day be lost to progress.